All right, so after wall clipping with our trusty pot lid, as one does, I'll put this back on for now, and I guess we'll go over to, to Varuta now, which is over here. Last time we fought Water Blight, we had Moon Jump Glitch activated. We did a few jumps, activated Bullet Time, and then basically did Multi-Shot Ancient Arrows until it got deleted. We used to have like 450 Ancient Arrows back when we did that. We have less than 400 now. The Great Ancient Arrow Shortage of 2020. If only it was 999, like my original goal was. Well. Yeah, so I guess this is going to be the final one of these. Uh, it auto saves when you exit the shrine, but I will save right before this because as I found out with the last thing, if you lose to the boss, then it spawns you back at your last auto save, which is the which is the shrine over there. I appreciate the follow there as well, Elder DK. I appreciate that. Can I find any way to jank over Water Blight without like my regular stuff? I mean, we could always go activate Moon Jump, but we fought them all with Moon Jump in the regular playthrough. So when we're refighting them, probably makes sense to like do it normally. I just realized I still have the freaking sniper bill on. I'm just now realizing this. The one who approaches the Divine Beast after <laughs> literally glitching out all the previous shrines. In the, offer of, in the name of the Goddess Hylia, offer this trial. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the Realm of Memories. Trade in your emblems for cool prizes. Those who like determination will find this trial unforgiving. But if you conquer it, you'll be a winner! Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. But I guess this is going to be the final one of these that we do. I wonder if I can Daruk's Rush Water Blight. I wonder. All my attempts at doing Urbosa's Fury into, like, Daruk's Rush Jank have always ended in catastrophic failure. But it was mostly against the Mulduga, so I mean, kind of a different entity. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. And if I'm stuck with a spear, I might not be able to do Zeruk's Rush Jank. I might still be able to, but like, I mean, you shall face the product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome the sphere to proceed. Wait, if I don't have another weapon I can switch to, I might not be able to attack, cancel, or boast its fury. This battle is a trial of the soul, and emerge victorious using only the tools provided. At least we have a bow this time, unlike Thunderblight. But we might only have the one weapon. I can probably still do Druk's Rush. I probably just can't combine it with Urbosa's Fury as much as I wanted to. That's all. So it might just be like a slight downgrade. But like, the upgraded harder version is something that like, I try and I usually fail at anyway, so it's probably not that big a deal. Misery Realm, Realm Water Blight Ganon. It's freaking pissed as hell. All right, give me a sec, Water Blight. I need to check my stored. Okay, we have freaking 10 regular arrows and a silver bow. Oh, I have three tridents. Interesting. So I can weapon switch, technically. Huh. Anyway, from like speedrunning this game for charity a while back, I know that at the beginning, uh, Water Blight will have two main attacks. Either if you're far away from Water Blight, he'll do like a kind of push of the spear attack. And if you're close to Water Blight, he'll do like a ground pound AOE thing into the ground. So if you force his first strike to be that really slow and easy to dodge lunge, it makes him like really open. So I'm gonna stay purposefully far like this so he does that, yep. So he does that attack and then we kind of get right in his face and then we do this. Yeah, he's trying to do the AOE thing, which I'm not getting far enough away from in time. Well, like I said, those are his two attacks. Well, step, 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 step. Well, well. Step, 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 step. Well, how rude. Can I Daruk's Rush you? Okay, I already have bombs on. Do I want to save Daruk's Rush for stage two? I might not be able to. Well, now I only have one more use of it. I mean, it could have also been because I bonked my head. So I wasn't able to, like, use one of Daruk's protections while I was still in side hop animation because I kind of bonked my head off him and landed back on the ground. Whenever you're speedrunning and doing the boss rush, for some reason, Water Blight goes, like, right into the center of the room. And there's just like, hot jokes on you, I'm gonna teleport elsewhere. Yeah, it looks like he does the same here. Interesting. Well, if you want to fall down from that ceiling, that would be cool. 
And then we'll switch over to Cryonis like. Oh, two isn't enough. I thought two was enough. Freaking rude. R-O-O-D rude. I thought two was enough. I'm apparently wrong. Okay, so a few maybe? Oh my goodness, landing under a Cryonis block is like the most painful thing ever. Hi, you wanna maybe not? Okay, so a few hits? Oh my goodness. Well, never mind, we're not Daruk's rushing you. Am I in bullet time right now? Why? What? Um, I was in the air? What? Oh my goodness, I'm trying to like do things out here. Well, I mean, I could always knock you down like this, I guess. What? Did I do it early? What the heck? Well, everything sucks. How many arrows do I have left? Four. This sucks, doesn't it? Um, hi. Well, maybe not. I literally can't see anything from this angle. Am I floating right now? What is happening? Oh, spin attack you can do from the... Well... Well, okay, well, wait, where am I? What? What the? No! Well, there's my one chance with that. Wait, I just realized I can use these in here. I literally have bullet time activatable from any, never mind. Never mind. Um, this fight is much harder than I remember it being. But I do this fight typically in a very different format. So like, oh my goodness. Ask me to break Breath of the Wild, I can do it. Ask me to play it normally, I can't do it. <laughs> and this right here is asking me to play it like semi-normally. Is what it is. Oh my goodness, stop. How about you don't? Oh my goodness, I side hop to dodge that right into the water. Oh my goodness, well. Arrows aren't gonna help me much more. So how do I knock you down then if I don't have like arrows? Like if I'm straight up out, is there much I can do about that? Or am I just like royally screwed until the end of time? Like what happens anyway? Like, it's not like I can reach you up there. I don't think, yeah, I guess not. Oh, I got like one poke, not like it matters, but like. So am I just in a position now where I'm royally screwed or something? Is that how I'm to interpret this? Yeah, I think... I think I'm just royally screwed. I think I put myself in a position where I can't really do a whole lot. That fight is much harder than I remember it being. I mean... Like, a lot of my tools that would normally be in my arsenal aren't. So, I mean... So I gotta save all those arrows, and probably all those Urbosa's Furies, for stage 2, most likely. Man, if only it wasn't there. If only it was in Hyrule Castle like I'm used to. And then, you know, you could be on the ground ground, not in the water. Where I'm not sure what to do with you, quite frankly. Not sure what to do with Water Blight when he's in the water. This is a thing. So I guess I need to land 3 shots to get him down. And then what do I do from there? I could try forcing Flurry Rush with Daruk's Protection and a bomb. Maybe I should purposefully deactivate Daruk's Protection until stage 2 so that I don't accidentally waste any on like protection hits. Just so I can use them to potentially force Flurry Rushes later. I think I'm actually going to do that. So like I said earlier, I'm going to stay far out. Oh, no, he's doing that attack first. That's weird. You usually don't start with that. But okay, we'll go with that. What? Okay, do your lunge. Do your lunge, please. Do it. There you go. There you go. You love to see it. Stabby, stabby. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, come on. That still hit me. Well, do your lunge. Do it again. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that sure is a hard attack to dodge. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Run, 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 run. Cool. Do your lunge again. Do it. Freaking try to poke me. There you go. Yeah, if you stay at about that range, he just tries to poke you and, like, fails. Because he's, like, programmed weirdly, I guess. Okay, Runny's doing his AoE. Nice. Want to do your lunge? 
do your lunge. Do it. There you go. Man, that sure is difficult to dodge, let me tell ya. Well. Okay, slow and steady wins the race here, I feel like. Oh, I don't have a shield to do a double jump with. Crap, I was about to, like, extend my distance by doing the freaking double jump thing, but I don't even have a shield to do that with. Freaking rigged. My goodness. Time to go. Time to go. I can't do a double jump with a shield right now. Lunge. Lunge at me. I dare you. Do it. Oh, he's not doing it. Well, can I actually get a flurry rush this time? Okay, it actually worked properly this time. Weird. I don't know why I didn't before. I'm not used to him doing that attack. I'm used to him just doing, like, the lunge and the AoE thing during phase one. But I guess that's because if you're, like, speedrunning the boss rush, you kind of delete him before you get the chance to do that, I guess. So, like... Okay, so I'll save my arrows for, like, this. Is the thing. I mean, I can technically get bullet time by using this. Is the thing. And then we can do, say, this. There's the sound cue that he's been knocked down, and then... Step, 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 step. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the play. I feel like. Let's do it again. One more time! That is a little bit high. Alright, so three hits. One, two, three. And he's knocked down. And I'm even gonna go a step further this time and do this. We don't even need to use the Rook's Rush. Nice. So I guess it's not bad. Like, it's not bad at all if you go into it with, like, a strategy. Freaking night and day to that first attempt when I was struggling with it. Jeez. Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Mifa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Varuta, which Mifa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the, ed the essence of Champion Mifa. I can't word today. Recall the champion of Ruta's wrath. Before she walked her chosen path. Mifa's kindness was known to all. Which is why the princess came all. So, Princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali. Gerudo Spirit, Urbosa. And also, the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Link. Oh. too young to swim up this big waterfall. One day, princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta.
We'll go together so you can get a feel for it. Let's go. Sweet Sidon, should fate ever part us, I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora princess could be quite strict when necessary. So, what do you think of Champion Mipha's song? Writing a song that captures the determination of Champion Mipha, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. Missing verses of an ancient song. I think the perfect setting would be Hyrule Castle in the distant past. You're so strong. So much stronger than before. The power of Mipha's grace will now recharge much faster. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule. As well as the princess who awaits you. Mipha's Grace Plus, and luckily, that's one that, I mean, will recharge no matter how many charges are used, considering there's only one use of it, but I mean, nice. Now it requires less time to recharge. That's all four complete. I am Maz Koshia. I must commend you for conquering the trial thus far. The door to the final trial is now open at the Shrine of Resurrection. Oh! Go and face your destiny. I wonder what's gonna be there. Oh. I have no idea what to expect, honestly. I have no idea what to expect with that. Oh! Well! We're gonna need these things to recharge now. I think it's so dumb how you have to use all of them so that they start recharging. I didn't use my Daruk's protection there at all. Well, before we go and, like, do that final thing, should I wait for these other two abilities to recharge? There's, like, that one shrine that I discovered that... Where was that? Oh, that was over there. I don't know if it would, like, recharge in shrines, though. Like, since you can't use them in the shrines, it might just come out with, like, the same charge that you went in with. Well, let's hope I don't need those. So this is gonna be, like, the final challenge of the Champion's Ballad, huh? So I may as well use, like, the best shield that's currently in my arsenal and such. And then maybe use some spicier things, like this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just go there. I have literally no idea what to expect. The lore of the Champion's Ballad so far kind of implied that Link might also have, like, his own Divine Beast. I wonder if this is gonna, like, build up to that. Like, I wonder if that's what this whole thing is building up to. Because I swear, towards the beginning of this, there were, like, some little hints that, like, maybe there was something like that. Maybe I'm, like, reading it wrong or something like that, but we'll see. I have no idea what to expect, and I'm kind of looking forward to wrapping this DLC up. Let's see what we've got. What could it possibly throw at me now after all that stuff that I conquered? Huh? Probably something really crazy.